Hello everyone, just coming on to share with you some cards that I've made but before I do that I'd like to do a VR for the lovely Carol Ann of Catch Crafts. She's trying to reach 900 subscribers. Eventually she would love to reach 1k but uh, for the time being her, her goal is to reach 900 and she has her she has put up a birthday challenge so her birthday's on at the end of October and she doesn't want us to send her anything but what she would like us to do is to send something that we have made something small it doesn't have to be very big to to, to somebody else and all we have to do is to let her know the person that we're going to send it to and um, for that we for sending something to somebody we will get a point for doing a vr we'll get some points for um writing a comment on the video where she explains her, her giveaway we get a point so i will link that video where she explains the the challenge uh, to this video so that you can um go over and have a look and if you're not already subscribed to her then please do do subscribe and um show her some youtube love so that's the first thing now the second thing is that these cards that i have made are part of um crafting shed davis's play and make challenge that she puts up every saturday now i have been a bit uh i've been a bit slow <laughs> over the last few weeks um for various reasons and so i've got three three weeks worth here to show you um so we're talking about uh, week 14 and in week 14 the colors were white green and orange and we could use embossing folders buttons and stamps so this is the card that i made for week 14 so here i i had this paper that was graded so it was green going through to orange to yellow so i thought hopefully that would be more or less orange jane i hope that's okay and so i put that on this card and then in this corner i just put a piece of white embossed paper and you can see that, yeah and then here i have stamped a flower in orange and then I've stamped the leaves in green. And then I put the sentiment here in stamped in orange. And then the buttons. So I put green and orange buttons on it as the decoration. So that is week 14. And then week 15, this card I think has turned out to be, look a bit like a funeral card. <laughs> I thought I've put happy birthday on it, but Perhaps I should have put, um, you know, with sympathy or something like that because of the colours. Anyway, there we go. So with this one, this is week 15, black, purple and gold, dyes, stamps and buttons. So, um, uh, so the black, purple and gold is pretty obvious. So I've got a purple base and then I laid up a black a uh, piece of paper and some gold paper so the die here is here the happy birthday and also the heart and these flowers and the buttons for the centers of the flowers and then this is the stamp this is a leaf that has been um, actually embossed in, in gold so I thought that would count so so um yeah so that is that is that card and i said you know looking at it it's a bit heavy i think um and a bit gloomy because there's quite a lot of black and i'm not a person who likes black very much so uh, <laughs> so perhaps that's why i'm not so happy with it and then this week the challenge was white pink and navy blue um um, stamps, embossing powder, and pearl effects. So, and um, so this is my make for this week. So I've used a white card base. I've uh, layered up some navy blue paper. Well, as near to navy blue as I could get it because uh, I didn't actually have navy blue, but this this was the darkest blue I had. And then um, originally I stamped this stamp 
on on the glue and I had pink embossing powder and I embossed it so I thought that would be great it would come up pink. but it came of course pink and blue make purple so, so the thing was purple and you could hardly see it so I stamped it out again in white and just fussy cut round it and uh, the same with this because I had done the get well soon as well underneath here and um, I had to somehow or other cover it up so uh, so this is what I did so I um, stamped it out on uh, a pink scallop uh, that I had die cut out I just used half of it and I used um, navy blue ink to, to say the get well soon and then I just laid it up on a um, strip of pink paper so that just to give it a bit more color and then I used all of these tiny little pearl effect in pink to just to decorate the card so those are my three cards for the play and make um so yeah that's that's those and I just got one other card to share with you which is this one um this I have made for a um, Facebook um, group challenge um, on Shiny Silver Treasures Facebook group. Every month we're given some colours to make a card with. And um, this month it is green and silver. So this is the card that I came up with. So I've laid it out on green card and then I've cut out this... this um, section this filigree section of butterflies and um, and foliage um i didn't realize i mean i should have cut it off here i should have uh, you know just um used a small piece of card but i didn't so i've put here i've got some green holographic peel-offs in a wavy line so i just stuck there you, know, you can see the uh, peel off there just to sort of give it some uh, effect and then this um, die comes with these three four butterflies which are actually the butterflies in the panel but I put three of them here and then I put the fourth one there as a solid butterfly and then I just had this happy birthday in green so I thought well that would that would look nice so that's what I how I made this card so so that's uh, my creations for the last few days and thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. Um, uh, I will be making a few things so I hope, hope to be able to share those with you soon. I'd just like to say as always thank you to all my subscribers for being so loyal and for supporting me. I have got my giveaway coming up on Wednesday so look out for that to see who the winner is of my box of cards and um, I'd just like to say as well um, hello to my new subscribers you're very welcome and um, I look forward to getting to know all of you a bit better bye for now bye bye